Hi, I'm Jim Pruse and welcome to this edition of the Weekly Update, brought to you by World 5.0. Our top story, civil rights. Yes, they've been disappearing folks for U.S. citizens and for folks all around the world. Why? For starters, and because it's just disgusting, George Zimmerman was acquitted of murdering Trayvon Martin because he was scared. And according to Florida's Stand Your Ground laws, fear is a perfectly justifiable reason for killing someone. And if he happens to be an African-American teen wearing a hoodie, you're good. The trial was full of shenanigans and seemed more designed for a show than an accurate portrayal of justice. Nasty. What happened to Trevon's civil rights? Did he not have every right to walk down the street? Did he instigate contact? And who threatened whom? It's corruption, plain and simple. Now we're told to stay calm and don't worry about it too much. But this Trevon fiasco is just the tip of the iceberg. Our civil rights have been steadily eroding since Gore v. Bush, when the Supreme Court decided that installing Bush was better than recounting votes in Florida. Citizens United, state laws that undermine workers' and women's rights, and recently blowing up the Voting Rights Act. It's a long, painful list. And now we have the IRS targeting scandal, which seems more like a Tea Party tizzy than anything else, and even more challenging, the NSA spying scandal. Anyone who understands data mining recognizes that this has been happening for years and that the sophistication of the tool sets gets ever better. Since we can't put the data genie back in the bottle, I argue for as much access and transparency as possible. The government and corporations already know all about us. Shouldn't we have access to that info as well? The bigger question is how to reverse this trend towards squashing our civil rights. Looking at three branches of government or state governments, it's difficult to see any hope for change. These institutions fail in the number one job of good government, human health and human happiness. So the fix then must come from us. Write your elected officials, protest, stand together, and most of all, vote. We must create a government that abides by integrity, justice, and balance, which means we must have elected officials that abide by integrity, justice, and balance. Citigroup profits are up 42% this quarter. 42%. How big of a raise did you get? Edward Snowden, the guy who got the NSA scandal started with his whistleblowing, is still stuck in Russia as the U.S. tries to prevent other nations from providing amnesty. What is the NSA ultimate goal? All the data, all the communications in the world, so that they can sift through it and check on everything? Yeehaw. Record heat in much of the West last week, with temperatures soaring up to 130 degrees, even as the Middle South and Middle West were drenched by torrential downpours. So what's the problem, right? It's summer. A recent study found that neglecting ecosystems could double the damage caused by coastal storms to those high hazard risk areas. These high hazard areas comprise about 16% of U.S. coastlines, where millions of people live. Dunes, corals, grasses, and mangroves, apparently they count. And apparently, paying attention to ecology is not only wise, but it makes sense financially. A huge slab of dried oil weighing 40,000 pounds and measuring 60 feet by 165 feet was pulled from a Louisiana beach last week. Well, that's probably the end of it, said an unnamed BP spokesperson. Bastards. And the Jim Proust for Congress website is soon to be public according to the sources close to the candidate. Stay tuned. The Boat Plastic Shrink Wrap Initiative numbers are in. In total, Cohen Recycling, with the help from local marinas, as well as the Cincinnati Sail and Power Squadron, recycled nearly five tons of plastic that would have otherwise been sent to the landfill. This shrink wrap recycling project is the first one of its kind in the inland waterway system in the United States. The Washington Post ran a story on Monday about the edible forest recently planted along the Mill Creek by Groundwork Cincinnati in partnership with the City of Cincinnati and Scott's miracle Grow. Always wonderful to see our local initiatives receive some national attention. And finally, a reminder that the Urban Greens Summer Celebration at Turpin Farm is this Saturday. Come around 6, eat, play, and join in the merriment. Live music and a bonfire are also on tap. Well, that's the show. Thanks so much for tuning in because we're all going somewhere. Peace. Don't.